said, man, I've been doing whatever I can to make my way back, man. You know, I had to go humble myself and go play in the D-League. You know, I done it set home for seven months, expecting my first child. Man, I'm still a newlywed. Then we had to go to China. It's just been rough on us, man. It's just our first day back. But you know, I gotta keep doing, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. I had one of the best experiences a rookie can have. Gary Payton on my team, Paul Pierce, Doc Rivers coaching. We got taught an old school game. It's crazy, I was sitting out in Seattle. LeBron asked me, did I want to play for Cleveland? And I was sitting there looking like, yes, yeah, I was like, what? You want to come play with Cleveland? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Three months later, I'm starting point guard on the Cavs and throwing alley-oops to LeBron. And those memories that you know, I'm going to have to show my son and my other one on the way. I wasn't the main man, but I was the man next to the man. When I first got diagnosed with bipolar, my first response was, what does that mean? You know, I had to look it up on Google. And that's my first time ever hearing that. And I've been told I uh, had an a, a emotional problem or something like that. I was just kind of moping around the house, more so depressed than anything. I went to go see this uh, psychologist. He prescribed me some medicine. On the night of the incident, I had my first time taking that medicine. Once it kicked in, it just put me in a state of drowsiness that I never experienced. The core argument was, what were you under the influence of and why? All I knew is I could possibly do at least nine years. So I'm sitting, some days I'm all into, hey, hey, and then other days I'm like, man, my, I done ruined my life. I'm sitting on the bench like this. While you're playing, that's what you're doing. Yeah, I'm like, this man, this is, it's over for me. Um, after that incident, all of a sudden, you know, I became the boogeyman. If I'm not smiling today on the court, they say, oh, he's, he didn't take his medicine today, or he's crazy. Of course, it affected my earnings, and I was making four, five million dollars a year. And then after that, every year, I've been on a league minimum contract. You know, I got to talk to a team therapist every team I come to. Make sure you put some cheese in the mix. <laughs> Okay. Cheese and butter, shawty. Cheese and butter. I actually just got back from China. Played over there in the CBA for the last five months. So just um, working out every day, getting myself prepared, staying ready. Uh, praying that uh, you know one of these uh, NBA teams will uh, give me a call. All right, come on, watch the game, man. Who you rooting for, man? Chicago or New York, dog? You got a lot of... Uh, incidents, um, man, and most of them are not on the court, you know? It has nothing to do with basketball, it's just my personality and, and my mouth gets me in trouble at times, but, um, you know, I haven't hurt anybody. I haven't killed anybody. I named my son Cash after Cassius Clay and, and Johnny Cash, and his middle name is Delonte, but I didn't want to name him um, Delonte West Jr. just because of that. I don't want my son going to school and, and people making fun of him for something his daddy did. And he go to school and say, oh, didn't your daddy have sex with LeBron, mama? Man, I don't need to deal with all that, man. I'm not living for just me anymore, you know? It's changed me when I see, when I wake up every morning and my son is just staring at go, me. Go, Cash, go, go. You know, when I walk out of the room, he, he's looking for me to come back. And, you know, he's counting on me to feed him and change his pamper, you know. Just make you want to be the best person you could ever be in life. That's all, what I always wanted, that's a family. Somebody to sit courtside and cheer for me and, you know, not uh, really running out to the club every night and looking for love from fans and people that really don't mean you no good. Um, I have that now, and that's been the biggest blessing of my life. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, no. Body, ba da da da, 
Love you like Jesus, it ain't. Now, I'm trying to work my way back. I think team's perception of bipolar is I'm the guy that's gonna come in and do something crazy or he's gonna do something out of control or something like that. Hey, no, what's up, man? What's up, buddy? I'm, I'm good. How's everything going down there? Everything's good, man. I was calling you, um, just, you know, what's the updates, man? What we look like? Uh, one more time tomorrow, we'll see where the Bulls are at, checking in with Minnesota, and seeing what else is out there, so, you know, hopefully something will, uh, develop quickly. You know, I'm, I'm in the best shape I've been in my career, man, I'm just, I'm angry, so I'm ready, you know, I... I'll give you a call after I start to talk tomorrow, right? I'm ready, I got my bag and my basketball at the, at the door, man, I'm ready to go. Sounds good. Cash. I know these teams won't give your daddy a shot, man. Man, it don't matter. He make everything all better, don't he? <laughs> There's so much attached to my name, but um, I just want to show the world, I want to show the NBA how much of a better player and person I am. I want to finish the chapter in my book. It's the last chapter left. And my son will sit courtside and wear jerseys and say, that's my daddy right there. And um, that's what I look forward to. Go, 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 can't go. Hey. Go, go. <laughs>